All right, we're back. And uh, we've got a change of weather coming right now. That weather is some strong north wind, 20 plus miles an hour. Gusting even more so. And I thought, you know what? On my way back from lunch to work, I would take the E-model around. It's starting to rain. Oh, man. But it's cool. I, I'm not really dressed uh, from the waist down for, for this, uh, but I do have my swishy pants, which is kind of my go-to for when it's cooler weather. But it decides to get real serious. I'm going to have not such a pleasant experience with this. But I wanted to take you on a tour of the vineyard. I'll do a little ride here. And of course my e-model, you know, I have some people from not in the States here that pay attention to what I share on here. They are not street legal in the States. You can see that we don't have the dash the nor what we call the normal dash on our DRZs. So I have this Trailtech Voyager. It's a Trailtech Voyager. And I've got it set for GPS uh, speed and obviously odometer. It's really nice. It gives me a temperature readout. And if I got to it from the power supply, it gives me a battery voltage, which is I think it's pretty valuable. Anyway, I've got this tagged in South Dakota, which allows you to do anything, for the most part, with the title by mail. That's really helpful for my YZ400F that I mainly track ride now. That was how I tipped my toe into the supermoto world. It was with that bike and I'm very thankful to have it. But when I change something, it's very helpful to put my headlight on and... Take it for a spin. You know, it's insured, obviously. But it's also tagged, just like this bike. Um, I think I'm releasing another video right alongside this one at the same time. I've got a D606 tire coming for this bike, because this is the tire set that it came with. The front tire is in relatively good shape, also at Dunlop, but not necessarily street legal, but it's legal enough we'll just say. For my purposes, my, my idea is to just take this thing to the trail and ride it to the trail. And some of the other times I had to put it in the back of the truck because I had no tag for it. And I just don't run, I just don't run illegally. Oh, some free range chickens, a couple of roosters out there. Hopefully the hawks are leaving them alone random <laughs> anyway what I wanted to do is I'm going to share that but I've also got I think I mentioned this I mentioned this in this other video that I'm going to release again about the same time I've got a Shinko 805 that I'm going to put on my SM with a TKC80 front why are you mixing and matching tires well I'll show that that'll be a video that where I'm going to share that with you I'm going to share that information. But they're relatively similar, and it saved me 70 or 80 bucks. 
and I'm not too serious about those tires. It's just something that I wanted to try for a winter set, or because I, you know, I'm not going to ride when it, the weather's, you know, just completely crap. Wow, they put some loose material on this roadway, really soft and slippery, soft and slippery. But anyway, I'm. I bet it's that trash material from that batch plant. But yeah, this is just yuck. Anyway, I wanted to share that uh, process, and I and I'll I'll probably uh, do a review of those too. But my friend was going to have a winter set. He's going to have a winter set on his, and this is the one that that I put the uh, not we'll just call a knockoff carburetor on his DRZ and it's still working great he's put somewhere between two and three thousand miles on it and he's loving it shout out to my friend uh, who I got interested uh, in doing that swap Um, well, we're not going to mention his name. He's going to mention mine, I think. Oh, propane. The reason why I'm not mentioning it is because I'm a fool and I forgot it. I forgot it. I forgot his name. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Link's Garage. Link's Garage. I'm sorry, Link. You're a good guy. From Kane Tuck. Anyway, we're getting to the winery here, and I'm going to take you for a tour through the, the vineyard real quick. We've had a few freezes. But yeah, this tire is starting to get to be done. Just from my road riding for the most part. You can see it looks relatively bare out here. So we'll just do a few, few little passes out here. You can see all the leaves are off of here. It was amazing to me. Well, it's not amazing because I've been doing this for 16 years or so. just how quickly the leaves dropped from them and that's just what happens they, they come off we got a crop off we did have a nice harvest but we didn't have a whole bunch of help which was really upsetting we didn't have a lot of help see how this kind of grapes they're a different kind these are traminette over here on the side they still retain some of the leaves and that's probably because they don't like to go dormant as as readily as these chamberson over here on the right green grape red grape but they just want to keep on growing that's one of the problems about them is they're just so vigorous in their growth but we have the weather's changing you know and i've had years stay on topic here i've had years where the weather we haven't had our first freeze this is what's this the 10th of november i think it's the 10th we've had had years where it's not even made it to i mean we haven't had a frost yet at this portion of the year that's rare because usually it happens in october but we're just uh you know it's Things are done for the most part anyway at that point in the year. Some people are saying, oh, well, riding season's over. Riding's over. We're done riding. That's when it starts getting good for like off, for off-road, in my opinion. Because, you know, I'm a bigger guy and it's one of the challenges of staying cool.
There's some more of those Traminette. On the right here, again, they retained a lot of their leaves, but some of them have fell. They will continue to fall. Yeah, some of the people that might be familiar with vineyards. Whoa, I got a little sloop, slippy there. A little slippy. I think my front tire isn't necessarily happy with me. I probably should have checked its inflation. Speaking of inflation, <laughs> oh, Sleepy Joe, you did it to us. But yep, so it's a little, yeah, I'm noticing a feel on my front tire. This is kind of a spontaneous thing. Don't be like me, do a full tire pressure check rather than just kind of push over them and push on them and say, well, that's, that's good enough. Some of you that are people that are familiar with vineyards will say, well, why is there a drainage going through the center of your vineyard? Well, that's not my, by my design. This thing was already here when I got here and it's extremely flat out here. Extremely flat. This is a horrible place to try to grow grapes, but sometimes we get lucky. And this is a paddock here of Traminette, look, it's got the leaves on it still quite a bit. But Traminette, for our people that are wine connoisseurs, may know or may not know that it's a hybrid of Gewürztraminer or Gewürztraminer. Some German people could correct me in my pronunciation, but that's just as good as I can do. But it's hybridized with an American variety. I think Saval, Saval Blanc or Saval, and it's a really taste, ends up making a really tasty grape, and obviously a really tasty wine for some people. And there's some more Chamberson. C H A M B O U R C I N. Well, There's a tour of the dormant vineyard with a little bit of me rattling on in between. We've been getting some rain, which is kind of nice. We have some moisture in the ground, which is, I mean, it's been super, super dry. Let me see if I can finish this vineyard tour off right with a tasteless. Hmm, I wonder if I should do second gear. We'll do second gear. Tasteless wheelie, a trash wheelie. Yeah, that's kind of bad. Let's see if I can do a little better. That's a little better. This thing's super touchy. But I think we'll, we'll call it good at that. Sorry about my poor wheelie skill. I better get back to work. Please make sure and subscribe to my channel. I'm really trying to get to 
a thousand subscribers and get this thing going. I want to share some more content of my life and things that I do for fun and I'll also take suggestions on future videos. We can do video replies amongst other things. So we'll see you next time.